Hi, I'm Josie from WeConnect and this is Milton from Capital One. Hi. May I ask you to introduce yourself first, please? I am Milton Campomanes, uh, Software Asset Manager for Capital One. I've uh, been um, in that space, in that company for about five years now. As a Fortune 500 company and one of America's top 10 banks, mm -hmm. what are the challenges that you are facing in SAM and software license management? It is the digital transformation that we have embarked in. We are transforming to a technology company, not just a financial company. Mm -hmm. And uh, that includes uh, moving in our practices into an, an agile process. Um, we're heavily invested in that. We're uh, mature. Most of our processes are, have been moved to uh, uh, agile. And also uh, moving into a cloud infrastructure. Um, aggressive uh, goals there where we're moving a uh, majority of our footprint into an infrastructure as a service um, type environment. Your Challenger Peer session is also dedicated to the cloud. Yes. What do you want to discuss? So we have um, navigating the cloud as the overarching mm -hmm. uh, topic but um, I really want to draw out based on the sub questions that are that have been submitted I wanted to draw out experiences uh, from the peers. And that's what's good about this conference is that we allow and we empower the attendees to contribute and collaborate uh, with the overall outcome. So specific to that discussion, we want to draw out new ideas, uh, challenges that my peers are experiencing. Um, not necessarily the subject matter expert, but I guess together I can, uh, we, we can pull that information together. In your opinion, how do you think will the cloud change um, software asset management mm. in five years? There will be more adoption uh, of uh, uh, virtual uh, environments um, moving away from on-prem. And this adoption mainly focused on, uh, focuses on second generation server-based infrastructure being moved to the cloud. That's the easier way to do it. But potentially you could see first generation infrastructure mainframe based that could potentially be moved to the cloud. It's a, it's a challenge, but I think it can be done. In your session, you also raised the question how to ensure that the cloud provider remains compliant with the licenses. Where I really want to uh, drive that discussion is we, the practitioners ourselves, understanding what is in the contracts. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, so jumping right into uh, compliance with the contracts and ensuring that the vendors do their part, it's important for us to understand what the license terms and conditions are that need to be implemented. And what is the impact, uh, for example, on the data and the third party use of the software that is being installed. Until we get to that point where we understand, we wouldn't know what to ask for the vendor to implement. Do the topics and speakers and um, sessions match with your expectations you had up to this conference? So far, yes. Uh, we're early, uh, but uh, really encouraged that uh, there's more exchange of ideas and the environment itself is safer, where you're not afraid of vendors hearing what you have to say about what your company is doing. I saw that you studied in Manila. What do you miss most about the Philippine culture here in the U.S.? I've been away for a while, more than 20 years, but I do miss the people, mm -hmm. the food, uh, miss friends and, and family that I left behind. But uh, um, I've a, a adjusted well enough here. But uh, that's where I grew up, so uh, I miss all the other things that are the memories that I've retained. But uh, uh, we're adjusted here and my family is here. Okay, thanks a lot for your time, Milton. Yes.